Hello, uh, today in our series the topic is why we use the deployer library and uh, what's come under the deployer library. The some function are um, used uh, in deployer li library. So this is the definition. The deployer in our package is manipulate clean and summarize unstructured data. Uh, it is used for making the exploration um, and data manipulation easily. The package uh, in deployer we uh, we use many function uh, the perform that perform mostly used data manipulation uh, operations such as uh, filter select arrange and pipe these are the uh, function these are the four function are there then we can use the in under the deploy library when we define the deploy library then we use the these uh, but, uh, these function but it means if it is necessary whenever we use these function filter select arrange then you first you uh, declare the library deployer so uh, the function definition is it is used to uh, only desire variable it means that if uh, there is a huge data and you want to select uh, you need four or five um, columns uh, and row so you can use the select uh, function so easily you can um, extract the uh, column uh, or uh, we can also use the select function for dropping the variable or you can say or columns uh, these are the uh, where we use the minus sign whenever we use the dropping then we use the minus sign that like this is the example this is the variable name my data and select is the function then again my data then give the index and which we we you want to um, uh, uh, sorry drop the call uh, column so these two uh, columns we, uh, i want to drop uh, and uh, next is is the same you can use uh, uh, first method and you can use the second method both both work in the same way uh, which is comfortable to you you can use it I will also explain by you after this theory. Second is filter function. Filter function is used to subset the data with matching logical condition. Like, sorry. So, uh, um, suppose you need to sub six data, you want to filter row and retain only those value in which index is equal to A. It means substitute uh, where we, ca we can use the give the condition like uh, the, the A's is equal to 25. So, it show the all uh, A's uh, which is uh, related to 25. So, we did data is fil filter. So uh, this is the this is the uh, example. My data is uh, uh, we take uh, we take the new variable. My data is uh, and uh, then filter then original uh, variable name and index is equal to a. So, uh, and second is you can also use the uh, pipe uh, in the percentage in percentage operation. Also uh, use the select the multiple item. If you want that more than one item to filter, then you can use in uh, percentage in per percentage option. Like this example is my data is a filter, and then uh, vari variable name also. I take the new variable, and this is my old variable name. Then index is a column name uh, where we want that uh, percentage in percentage a to c it means that a to c uh, which number come under this a to c it, it filter all these number all these is all these salary um, it filter it give the output 
द नेक्स्ट इज अरेंज अरेंज यूज मीन शॉर्टिंग वी कैन यूज द शॉर्टिंग मेनली अरेंज यूज फॉर द शॉर्टिंग टू शॉर्ट द वेरिएबल डिसेंडिंग वाटर यूज दिस वैन वी यूज द इज डिसेंडिंग एक्स द फंक्शन शॉर्टिंग ऑर्डर of arrange function is ascending uh, by default it is ascending if we want that uh, uh, descending order then we have uh, we will have to give the uh, descending this this one the esc we give uh, will have to give the this this very um, function name so ascending a exam is sorting by multiple variable we can use the multiple variable like a arrange this is the function name and my data is variable name then index in which we want then year 2011 so it's give the all index about 2011 so uh, suppose we need more than uh, in descending so we want that only um, so index is, is show in descending order and uh, other data is remain same so that time we use the arrange my data and descending and index then why uh, here is equal to 2011 okay the next is pipe operator is a pipe operator uh, is a uh, is used for the only used for the pipe uh, pipe, um, uh, pipe operator it let is wrap the multiple function like uh, together with the use of pipe pipe operator uh, uh, like we want then i have data set, data set then any i want to then uh, the multiple uh, data index Uh, two three columns and uh, i want that it show you this this range and i give the range also so it give the all range um, and uh, uh, data is uh, rest of the uh, data is leave and it show only which i give the number so second option is also you can use the both are the same work is a my dt is equal to my data and select index and state state sorry and uh, then pipe operator symbol um, and i give the range in 10 so it give, show you the all 10 range in your columns uh, so now uh, i will explain you with the practically so this is the program first uh, i um, upload the library deployer uh, this time i am using uh, not a r studio i am using uh, using the jupyter notebook if you know about the jupyter notebook you comment me uh, i will explain you then this is my data uh, data set this this is a data customer segmentation this is the path which is in my desktop now next to i am using the function is a arrange function i want to arrange the column because if you see that uh, it defaulted defaulted uh, is not a proper way is a zero zero sometime it show the null value then zero one zero i want in a, in arrange in proper way so that time i am using the uh, i have taken a new variable df when then arrange function function name then df is my uh, data uh, data set uh, name df which which i am taking the df old variable name and the column this is the column name so if you see that default this is the defaulted is arrange the value is proper way 0 0 0 then it give the na na value 
so it uh, it can arrange the data if you want to arrange the data in proper way that we, uh, so you can use it arrange option now i want to sorting because uh, before i i am just uh, told you that um, arrange are also option also used for the sorting so i wanted that uh, only income is uh, show in descending order or uh, 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 all data is remain same only income is show me in descending order so if you this is the income then is it show descending order four four then three for two two is it like this so it is also same arrange function name then df is a variable name and uh, i declare this descending then income and all data is remain same only this one is a change now next is a so now uh, i want to drop the some value because defaulted and uh, debit income ratio i do not need this uh, this uh, two columns so i want to drop it so this is the subtext subtext is also used to create the data frame also and to uh, draw uh, it also as well as is also used for the dropping the data mm, if you have data set and uh, there is huge data set and you need to uh, uh, 10 uh, columns so that time you use the subtext it create a new data frame for you so that time we also use the subtract and also using the dropping the value uh, so we uh, then we also use it it's work in both it's drop the value both default and debit uh, income ratio subtract is a function function name df is a variable name then select is um, uh, which i want to select the uh, uh, column is a c function c i am using because i use the two variable that's why i'm using the c if i use only one variable that there is no need to use the c and minus symbol is uh, before the c that you uh, see the minus symbol so ye this one is the is both is defaulted and debit it's drop next uh, is the same the same thing uh, it depend on you uh, this is the second method to drop the value so you can use the, this one or you can use other one this is the i i have take taken the new variable df1 and df is my variable name no, sorry variable name and the pipe operator i am using the pipe operator and select and the same is thing is is a c and both are uh, both columns name so it's also remove so both are working same which which is comfortable for for you you can use it next uh, we want to select select uh, means uh, which uh, which column you need that uh, so you can use the you want two three columns so you use uh, you extract only three four columns so you can use the uh, select option df select is a function a then uh, where for df i want years 
हाउ मैनी ईयर्स एम्प्लॉय एंड इनकम आई एक्सट टू कॉल शो इट शो द टू कॉल यू कैन यू कैन यूज इन मोर दैन टू ऑल्सो दैट टाइम यू यूज द सी सी फंक्शन इस नेक्स्ट इज फिल्टर इज फिल्टर आई गिव I have given the condition. The income is equal to twenty five. It show me the which uh, whose person has twenty five. It give the output. Is a DF then filter is a function name same DF and is a uh, column name and equal equal to twenty five. so it show the years um, employees experience and then all data in 24 next is the same method um, uh, where we also you use um, the in uh, using the uh, uh, percentage and in uh, i have given the condition that uh, is a 6 to 25 is da filter and same is year experience i have given the uh, in between 6 to 25 the person have 6 to 25 years experience it should so 6 is it only to do two uh, person are there next is pipe next is pipe operator is pipe operator is used in many variable you can use one in one time um, more than uh, three four variables uh, also using for the data wrapping so uh, there i am define the df and pipe operator symbol then i am using the select operator where i want to see the income and years year employees then pipe operator and then it give the summary where it is show you the mean medium values in income minimum value is 20 5 quarantine uh, is first quarantine is 25 medium value is also 25 and third quarantine also uh, 25 and maximum value is 25 and minimum uh, years of the employees is give the 6 same thing i have done this um, then uh, i am using the group by function so uh, df and group by i want to see the same thing is the income and year and give the summary and mean value uh, give the mean value so mean is you can take any variable name this is the variable na variable name um, and then mean value uh, which you may want to mean value i want to the income mean value so i run so it's give the same thing as it above it show the output same output is there their income is 25 so and employees are 6 and mean value is 25 same is the same output is there so uh, this 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 is the program hope you like it please uh, subscribe the channel thanks for watching